Next page here, next to your scary story, guys. We're going to do apostrophes and contractions, okay? Last time we did apostrophes that showed possession, that showed something belonged to you. So if we had a ball and we had teacher Tammy, all right, then it was Tammy's apostrophe before the S, Tammy's ball, okay? Today we're using the apostrophe, you see here, it's to show that a word has been made smaller. So the example here is will not. I will not go to school today. But we don't always say that. Sometimes we say I won't go to school today. So what it's doing is the apostrophe is taking the place of the O in not. Okay. The next one does not. We're going to contract it. If I say, that does not look right, how else can I say it? I can say, that doesn't look right. And then I join the whole thing together, right? D-O-E-S. N. Take out the O, add an apostrophe. Doesn't. Okay, so the apostrophe sits in the word that you take out. The same here with you are would become your, um, so you are the world's most beautiful woman. Okay. So you can say you're the world's most beautiful woman. So your is missing the A. So we put an apostrophe R E. And we're making it one word. Okay. See if you guys could do the rest of these all together. Here we're going backwards. Shouldn't is should not. Must have. Okay. There we're actually missing two letters. Must have. Okay. We will. Will. They are. There. He is. He's. I have, this is another one with two that miss, I've, do not, don't, we all know that one, she is, she's, we are, we're, won't, will not, we can look up here, we're, okay, we're going to go backwards here, instead of me going through them, I want you to look at the top. They've is they have. Would have, would have. I'd, I would. Or I could even. But that's missing a whole lot of letters. I'd be the first person there. So it would be I would. Could also say I could be the first person there. So it would be I could. You'd. You would, he'll, he will, what's, what is. Okay, use the video to go forwards and backwards if you struggle to find uh, what the word is. And then fill these in for me. And remember, we've got now two ways we can use an apostrophe to show something belongs to someone and to make two words into one.